Hey friends, you might remember a couple of weeks ago I got together with my friends for a good time and we decided to do a character prompt that had to do with gingerbread. And we all had different takes on that prompt, which turned out to be really cool. So I thought it would be a super fun idea to take that gingerbread craft to the mean streets of the bakery and I buy the bakery, I just mean my house. And we tried Sally McKinney's perfect gingerbread cookie recipe in order to create these fantastic art pieces. Now, some of you might remember from the past, if you've been an OG member here at Dreaming Tabitha, then I've created some pretty super phenomenal, fantastic pieces of gingerbread artwork. But this year I was a little limited, so I just thought it'd be fun to do some cookies. But again, they're not just any cookies. They're cookies based off of art projects. So I gathered all of my ingredients together put them all in one big white bowl of fun and got to baking. Ah, satisfying. So here we go, getting ready to put the gingerbread men stencils on the gingerbread, but first I have to roll out the dough, so let's do that. Of course, it's always a good idea to have a little bit of fun whenever you're making anything, so do a little dance, listen to some music, get some hot cocoa, and make your own stencils like I do. I mean, why not? So of course I had to roll out the dough and then give it a try with these stencils. Honestly, they're just paper and I just traced around it with my little knife there and hoping that they wouldn't grow too much in the oven, otherwise it would lose a lot of the definition, which would take away from the whole point of the cookie. Now I made two of my cookies so that way I could have a practice run and while those gals were cooking in the oven, I went on to do The Maker's Cookie, which she had quite the background story if you want to check out that video. Now, I was a little disappointed with my gals in the oven because the recipe did not state that they would turn into some thick gals, but uh, they did. And I got all of them made, and unfortunately, one of them did break, but that's why I made two. So that way, in case this would happen, be prepared, as I always say. So this is my prompt, and that's what I'm going to try to do on this particular cookie. So a really quick decorating hack that I learned from my mother is to take a simple Ziploc bag, put the corner into the bottom of a cup, and then put your icing inside and then squeeze out all the excess air. And that will give you a nice baking piping thing so you don't have to spend money on the actual one. And you just snip a little hole at the end and then you get to decorating. So this was my practice run and I gave myself a little leeway here. I'm like, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to get the gist of the piping bag. That's what it's actually called since I couldn't remember. Yes, get the feel for the piping bag and just put all the decorations on there as best as I could. With the wavy hair, the contemptuous little face, and of course her biting off of her own hand because she is a professional food taster, tasting herself. I think she turned out pretty close to the actual prompt. Now the funny thing is that I decided to go and do the second cookie with a lot more confidence than the practice run. And it turns out that that confidence was uh, laughable because, well, as you're gonna see here in a little bit, <laughs> my practice run turned out way better than my confident run. So uh, the headless wonder here is the winner. What do you guys think? Unfortunately, the Megatron's cookie there fell apart too, And but I'm a magician so I put it back together, voila, nothing to see here folks. And then I decided to actually draw out the details because they were a lot more meticulous than mine and give it a go with the piping bag. 
kind of wondering why my voice is kind of low, a little bit squeaky here and there. <laughs> I've got the black lung I'm a little bit sick, pray for me. So I think it turned out really good as well. It doesn't quite have the colors, which I absolutely love. He's so talented as a colorist. You should check out his channel. But I really liked the cookie. Next was the Maker's Den's cookie, which I thought was really funny in the fact that this is the most delicate cookie that I made, and it's the one that stayed together. So I realized later on that I should have made the hole in the piping bag smaller because a lot of the details in the face are kind of missing, but I got the details that really counted. I got it pretty close. I think you would admit. And then it was time to do the decorating. Yeah, I know my candy canes are a little short, don't worry. But I think they turned out really, really well. And I love the fact that I was actually able to get the blue hair for Megatron's gingerbread. But what do you think? And now you might be asking yourself, wait a minute, we have fourth guest on there. But I just didn't think that I could do Danny's justice. Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey. We're going to be experiencing some fun new things in the upcoming year and I can't wait for you to be a part of it. So hit subscribe, hit, hit it, hit, hit it now. And be sure to check out the Etsy shop while you're at it.